Hey guys, it's Mike here, and today I want to talk about something a little bit new, something I didn't ever talk about before, and that is philosophy in games. So this is just going to be like a quick, simple vlog where I just talk about something that I found really interesting. Uh, in particular, I'm talking about Fallout New Vegas. Uh, there is one character in that game by the name of Caesar, who you might know is the leader of one of the main factions in the game called the Legion. And the Legion is actually known uh, by a lot of people as being the bad faction, as in like the evil faction in Fallout New Vegas. And this whole thing obviously is a reference to the Roman Empire, Caesar being a reference to Julius Caesar, the Roman Emperor, and the Legion being a reference obviously to the Roman Legion. But anyway, back to Caesar. When you talk to him, you have the option of asking him about his motivations, as to why he's doing what he's doing. Because the Legion uh, does some very, very nasty, brutal things, like like crucifixion, uh, enslavement, burning people. He argues that these barbaric practices are necessary to keep people in line because this is the post-apocalyptic wasteland and people have become primitive and dangerous and the environment is very unforgiving and therefore they have to resort to these more primitive, brutal practices. And he has a point because the Roman Empire did that a long time ago and the way they integrated all these different cultures into their one society is by using these very very strict barbaric practices. One example of this is referenced by Caesar himself called the Matio, which comes from the Roman Empire, where if soldiers committed great crimes, such as for example desertion, they would take the soldiers, break them up into groups of ten, and one soldier would be picked at random, and the other nine soldiers had to, well, beat him to death, which is a very, very crude tactic, but it works. He tells you that the reason why he is at war with the NCR, which is the opposing faction, is not because of hatred, but rather because of their opposing ideologies. In other words, they have to go to war. It is destiny because they are opposed, and that the resolution of that conflict will lead to a better society. In other words, after he defeats them, he will incorporate their practices into his own faction, and that is known as Hegelian dialectics, two competing opposite ideologies fighting together, and in the end, after the conflict, a third ideology emerging, which is superior to the first two ideologies. He himself says the words Hegelian dialectics, he actually teaches you that concept, and you can see that he is very, very well read and very educated very possibly the most well-read and intellectual man in the entire Mojave Desert, which is pretty bizarre since he is at the head of such a brutal and ruthless army. But anyway guys, I just thought that was really interesting how Fallout New Vegas has such good writing and how they incorporated such deep philosophies into their game in a way that the game actually teaches you about that stuff, uh, even without you realizing. And I love when games have such a nuanced concept of good and evil rather than, you know, just being the the good guys versus the bad guys. Here it's like it's actually competing ideologies which all have their strengths and weaknesses and it actually is really really hard to decide which of these factions you will choose. But anyway you guys, tell me in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video. Do you want to see more videos like this where I just talk with a camera and like talk about stuff that I like and that interests me? And I hope this whole thing wasn't too like complex or too um, condescending or like pretentious or anything. That's not the point. I just want to talk about something that I really found interesting and I hope I did it in a, you know, simple to understand kind of way. Uh, but anyway you guys, tell me what you think in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like and otherwise I'll see you guys next time. Peace!